Hi, I'm Tony Hannity, and you're watching Lazy Tech TV. Okay, so today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a new product called the Pen Click Mouse. This here is a regular mouse, the run of the mill mouse that you'll find anywhere, even a corner store. This is not what we're talking about. What we are talking about is, in fact, this. This is the Pen Click. Now, the idea of the Pen Click Mouse is that for the past three decades, we've all been using mice like this, and we're very familiar with it, but it does lead to issues with a lot of people's wrists. There are actually uh, three known uh, syndromes. One is actually mouse arm syndrome. The other one is repetitive strain injury. And um, a lot of pioneering has been done, especially in Sweden, to create alternatives, and one of which is the pen click mouse. So the idea is you're gonna use the mouse similar to that of a pen or pencil, and instead of using your whole arm to maneuver around the screen of your computer, you only have to use little small movements of the wrist. So when you buy the pen click mouse, you're actually gonna get a pretty cool packaging. It's just a, this large cylindrical see-through packaging that kind of looks look like a um, like secret of the ooze tube from uh, Ninja Turtles. And uh, inside, aside from the mouse itself, you're also gonna get USB charging cable for micro, uh, it's a micro USB USB charging cable, the USB plug for um, connectivity to the mouse if you get the wireless version, and then this little handy dandy case, if you will. And finally, of course, a little instructional booklet just in case you're not quite sure how to use the mouse. So once this is plugged in to the computer, there's no additional software that you have to put in there. Uh, but you should also note that this also has two other versions. You can get the Bluetooth version if you prefer to connect to your c computer via Bluetooth, if you don't have any additional USB ports available, or if you're not the type of person who wants to be wireless whatsoever, if you don't mind have a wired option, they do have a corded pen click mouse. So on the pen click mouse itself, you've got your USB port in the front, uh, again, which is micro USB, your on and off switch on the bottom, and then the laser laser pointer on the bottom here, and then your rechargeable battery, which goes in here, but it also runs off of non-rechargeable batteries as well. On the front here, it's actually five click points. So you actually have the left click, the right click, and then the middle click. And then these two buttons here is really prominent if you're gonna use the mouse in browsers. This allows you to go back one page, and then this button also lets you go forward one page. And then to scroll, you have the ever so popular scroll wheel right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at and see how the pen click mouse actually fares on an actual computer. So we're gonna be using a Mac for the purpose of this demonstration, but I have used a PC at home. And honestly, between the two operating systems, it performs pretty much the same way. Also, it should be noted that you can set the DPI settings for the mouse at different DPI settings. So you have 800, 1200, 1600, and 2400. And depending on the performance of your computer, it can perform slow or fast. So you can go ahead and play with those settings if you like. Now, once this is all plugged in here, there's no additional software drivers that you have to actively uh, install. So it it's really just plug and play. As long as you've charged this, one charge takes about a good two hours, give or take, and the charge lasts for about two months. So it's actually pretty good on that charge. And uh, you wanna make sure you turn it on. That's another thing. And then another indication of that is on, you'll see a little red or green light um, blink every once in a while on the top of the mouse itself. Now, holding the mouse, here's where it's a little bit different compared to this. Now when you're holding the mouse, especially if you're right-handed, you're, the left click button you're covering with your index finger and then the right click button you're covering with your middle finger and then the scroll wheel is just out in the open and everything else is just there. On the pen click, it's a little bit topsy-turvy. The left click button, the dominant button is underneath your middle finger and then the right click button is this little button here, and then the middle button is right on the same rocker as the right click button, and that is underneath your index finger. And then these two buttons 
are really useful if you're in the browser and they allow you to go back and forth instead of having to hit the little arrow in the upper left hand corner on the browser itself. So just kind of going through here using it like a regular mouse if I wanted to click into an article let's say Wireless Weekly 64 I would just use my middle finger to actually go into the article to click into it just like I would use the left click button on a regular mouse Here's where it gets a little bit of a nuisance to scroll down instead of going to the side um, of the page and I want to use the scroll wheel, I would have to uh, either stretch my middle finger to get to the scroll wheel, which ergonomically is not very sound, or I think what they want you to do is actually let go of the mouse completely and then uh, restraddle down at the base of the mouse and then use the scroll wheel. And then if I wanted to go back to the mouse itself and use it like I was just a few seconds ago, I would have to reposition my finger to where it was. Because this does mimic a pen, I did want to see how well you could actually paint with something like this. So we'll go ahead and go into Pixel Editor, which is a free app for Google Chrome that you could download. And uh, this is just using this as a pencil. So really just trying to mimic how I, how I would actually use a real pen on paper. That actually wasn't too bad. But really this is for those of you that either have either of those uh, hand arm uh, syndromes like the repetitive strain syndrome or uh, repetitive strain injury or the uh, mouse arm syndrome. Uh, or even if you just like using a pen more than you'd rather use a mouse like this, then that might be the perfect solution for you. For me, it just wasn't there. Um, I mean, it worked pretty well, and it was just something that was an extra getting used to when personally, I was fine using a regular mouse like this or, or the trackpad. So for, for what it is for that specific, I guess, niche uh, market that is that either likes using a pen more than they use a regular mouse, or if you have a have an arm uh, issue, that this might be a great solution for you on that. Uh, but you can definitely find more pictures, uh, more detailed information on lazytecheyes.com. And uh, let us know if you have any other questions or anything regarding the pen click mouse and in the comment section below here on YouTube, on a YouTube channel, or in the comment section of the actual article on lazytecheyes.com. So from here at uh, Lazy Tech Guys, I'm Tony Hannity. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.